all right so how's it going everybody and please don't buy the rtx 3056 gigabyte before you know what it is and don't buy the rtx 3050 8 gigs because this is a bad gpu this is a gpu for sub 250 dollars that's got 8 gigs of vram that really performs like a used 80 dollars gpu which is the gdx 1070 so yeah the only advantage that it has is that new nvidia capabilities it's got dlss 3 it's got you know ray tracing it doesn't even have dlss 3 i just said that and it's got the even encoder or more you know optimized for some 3d intensive applications but when it comes to pure gaming performance the gdx 1070 actually beats it out a lot of cases so yeah this is something that you gotta keep in mind um yeah once fsr3 starts being implemented to a lot of games uh it will not make any difference to go with an rtx you know over a gdx gpu for less than half the price and of course the biggest elephant in the room which is ray tracing and you're not gonna be able to use that uh with the rtx 3050 8 gigs now let alone the rtx 3050 uh, 6 gigabyte if you don't know what it is this is a gpu that has been launched recently from nvidia and you gotta know what it is this is not a gpu that's meant to compete with the you know uh full tower gpus out there it's not meant to compete with anything actually uh, you could find it as a replacement to uh gdx 1650 it's basically a gdx 1650 and we added ray tracing to it and an extra two gigabytes of vram bump this is the only way i'd find this gpu you know that makes sense because basically when you look at the performance you'd find it 20 percent sounds slower than the RTX 3050 8 gigs which uh, will put it in a territory close to around the RX 5500 XT performance or the RX 580 8 gigabyte performance so it's kind of faster than the GDX 1650 the infamous one but like by 10 to 15 percent so why is this GPU intriguing to anyone basically this GPU goes for $170 and you will find a lot of uh, these models being in low profile variants because basically this is a GPU that you would want to have if if you want to uh, upgrade your old HP or Dell tower, if you want to have, you know, a home theater PC, I feel like this in an ITX form factor would make a lot of sense, but it would never make sense paying that much money, you know. But again, this is what the low profile market is being priced at. This is the same price tag of something like an RX 6400, and the RX 6400 is actually a step down version of the GPU. You will find a like 10 to 15 percent difference. Uh, you'd find, you know, better capabilities, higher VRAM, and NVIDIA GPU that's got the NVIDIA uh, advantages over AMD, of course. You know, AMD is only superior by, you know, some vram and some performance so yeah you can tell what this gpu is directed towards but once you start looking at it as this is a gdx 1650 on steroids or gdx 1650 with ray tracing on it you will be a bit disappointed by what it is so yeah would i recommend it overall thoughts i would never recommend this gpu for your full desktop pc but i would understand why would people add this to like a home theater pc or a low profile uh compatible pc build so yeah this is why i would ever actually pick this gpu as an option but yeah the, given that how cut down it is when it comes to cuda cores when it comes to vram compared to the rtx 3050 it doesn't make it uh, you know an intriguing option for anyone but this is just my opinion let me know what you think down in the comments below yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace